What's cracking, yo? It's your boy Loud Grow, also known as Justin with the little bro Mo. Say what's up. What's up, dude? I go. This is Mo right here, coming at you, dude, straight from the dub. Was Gucci podcast numero uno? <laughs> yes, two yellow peas in a podcast. That's right. Yeah, copyrighted. Yeah, don't take that. It's fucking awesome. No, that was actually my idea. <laughs> it's, a, it's a combined idea. It's, yeah, exactly. Please don't take it because we're nobody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started, bro. Let's get fucking started. All right, dude. So. Mhm. Mhm. Had to get a good picture for the thumbnail. You already know what's cracking. Eh. Yes. So definitely a little bit different format of your regular podcast. You know what I mean? The field is largely dominated by white males and in an office type enclosure. But this is much more of like, you know, chilling with your homies in the man cave and shit. We got to look up the statistics on that one because I don't know how factual that is. <laughs> it might be dominated by Asians. There's quite a lot of Chinese people out there that do podcasts. Really? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I'm just guessing because they're like the most of the population. I don't know. We'll run those numbers. There'll be some facts. <laughs> We're not trying to get canceled like Joe Rogan over here. Right dude, what do you think about that whole situation, dude? Um. Well, it's interesting because I think. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is coming from. I'm a Joe Rogan fan, dude. I, yeah, I exactly. I'm not like a crazy fan, but I, I like his work, dude. I watch the UFC like pretty religiously. Both see. of us, dude. Like, uh, both of us really know a lot about growing weed. Or, you know, growing in general and stuff, body and fighting, you know, lifelong practitioners or learners of MMA, Muay Thai, specifically Muay Thai and stuff. Right. And, uh, you know, so questions abound there and stuff. And of course, you already know me for the, the rolling arts. But, uh, yeah, we have a good rapport with each other and shit. And uh, just wanted to give you a very different perspective on what you might see on a regular day basis listening to a podcast and shit. And, you know, we're just trying to build that community, you know what I mean? Yeah, but both Joe Rogan fans, uh, I think, definitely taken out of context. I think it's ridiculous that they're trying to cancel his ass. But, uh, you know, Dana's trying to fight to keep his ass in the UFC and shit, as he should. I mean, it's Joe tough because, you know, so ESPN is, like, owned by Disney mm -hmm. now, and they got that contract. Mm -hmm. So I've been reading that. I don't know. I mean, these could be rumors, but... I think it, uh, I think I mean Disney's a powerful entity, and you know they like to hold on to that uh, like child values, family oriented type values. You know, I mean, I mean it is what it is. I mean back to the question at hand, dude. Like, I, obviously it was definitely taken out of context. I mean you can take clips of anything and make mm -hmm. anyone sound like anything you would want them to sound like. And I mean I don't know the guy personally. To me I don't know if he's. I'm not gonna say he's racist or not because I've never met him. But from what I've seen, he doesn't seem racist. You know, but obviously it's not. It's kind of hard for me to judge because I'm not black, dude. And really, it's like the black community. They're the ones that mm -hmm. really are going to be the ones that ultimately make the decision. And they should be the one. If you have, like, all these white people talking about Council Joe because he said the N-word, that's kind of weird. It's almost like, in my opinion, it's like, you have your opinion, but you're not black. So you can't really speak on You can speak on the term, but you shouldn't be in charge of who's being canceled. It's almost like a colonizing mentality in my head, you know? It's like, you're, you're offended more. You feel like your right to be offended is more than the people mm -hmm. that are supposed to be being offended. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Interesting uh, perspective, but I definitely agree with that and stuff. Uh, it's weird, dude. I definitely missed him on UFC 271, which he was supposed to be at and got taken out. And Bisping, I mean, I love Bisping and everything, you know what I mean? But you just cannot replace Joe Rogan's hype and his uh, his color commentary. It's it's He's the fucking best. And it's, it's a reason that they've had such a long-standing relationship and everything. And yeah, bullshit, but... You know, hope the best for him and shit. Hopefully he doesn't get canceled, but, you know, we'll see what's cracking. I don't think he's going to get canceled, dude. I think, uh, he, like, he is far surpassed, like, being cancelable. It's, I mean, he's responsible for most of the news that we see. It's dude, like, can you cancel dude, CBS? Dude, seriously, cancel? like, think, think about, like, how much reach his podcast has and everything, so, you know what I mean? Even if Spotify wanted to drop him and shit, dude, he would have so many offers on so many different platforms to be able to speak and shit, dude, like, uh... Yeah, a voice of a generation for sure. <laughs> yeah, at this point, like, I think Joe could, like, literally just start a website the, to which he streams his podcast at, like, a fee, and people would pay it, dude. It's like he doesn't need platforms at this mm. point, you know? Um, but, yeah, it's an interesting... It's an interesting uh, subject. I'm not going to say I'm not surprised because I feel like in the climate we're in, it's like 
people were just getting offended and it's like weird because when i was growing up it's like we were always like people were getting offended but it's like we weren't out there actively trying to uh, like cancel people like that it just wasn't a thought you know i feel it it's yeah kind of, i don't know it's kind of a weird thing but whatever <laughs> i mean it is uh, crazy ass times that we we're in though you know what i mean yeah i mean i can see the perspective of them trying to cancel him because they feel like he's a bad guy or something like that you know and in their minds they're trying to better the world i guess but whatever bro you know fuck it take a quick little break on this oh my goodness and as far as the commentary bro um i'm a fan of bisping bro i like this i like i love his fights and shit dude commentating wise don't hate me bisping i know you i think you live out here in oc if you catch me out on the streets you know don't, don't train down close to mesa bro that's not too far dude but, don't be hitting the table you'd be dude. shaking the camera and shit dude um you no know, i do the same fucking thing and shit but yeah what were you gonna say i cut you off Ah, oh, dude, the flow wasn't there, dude. It's like, and then at points, him and Cormier were getting in, like, these little bickerments, and I felt like it was kind of like, I almost wanted to be, like, just mute what the fuck you guys are saying so I could at least watch the fight, you know? It was like, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, and obviously, like, Joe has more experience and shit, so obviously... No, yeah, 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 like, there, there's no hate towards Michael Bisping or anything, you know what I mean? But it's bro. like, you, you can't Bisping, replace, don't hurt me. you can't replace <laughs> Joe Rogan, that's all it is and stuff, like, uh... You're, you're definitely not canceling him. No, yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I, I would just... I would be sad if the UFC had to drop him as a as a commentator. That's that's pretty much it. I, I'm not saying that he can be canceled as a platform speaker to reach millions of people or anything like just as a commentator for the UFC because he's fucking awesome. You know what I mean? I, like outside of Boss Ruin, Joe Rogan are like my two favorite fucking commentators. Like the, those those two. Mar Ronaldo's pretty dope. That Robin Black dude, bro, he's a fucking sick ass no, commentator. Yeah, bro. there's there's some good ones and shit, but like the top top two for sure are are Boss and Joe Rogan and stuff. Yeah. It's it's easy easy choice for me. Yeah, I think if they were to <coughs> drop, I think if the UFC were forced to drop Excuse them, me. I think that would just be another like nail in the coffin for the UFC when it comes to like how the fighters are being paid and kind of how they're being promoted and treated. You know, I think if you were to cancel Joe Rogan, it's like I think at that point the fighters are like. Fuck this place you know interesting perspective it, interesting perspective. everyone has said nothing but good things about it but i would say I, I would say the ufc know? is a, another one of those giant monopolies and shit that you really can't topple you know what i mean like it's you're not, just but you're gonna i think you're, but you're, you'll see people leaving because people are already getting more they're getting paid more for like these trillion what do you think is going to happen with nganu and stuff dude that That's whole fucking shit. contract fiasco and shit dude my heart dude my heart wants to tell <laughs> nganu dude take the fight with tyson bro you're gonna make what nine million right yeah, so but it's just, uh, I, I don't know any numbers for anything, but I'm just saying, well. like, um, Take for him to try to put a clause in his UFC contract so that he could box as well and stuff, like, this is oh, not yeah. going to fucking happen, no. dude. Dana's is not going to allow that shit. The UFC is not going to, Hunter is not going to allow that shit. So, uh, if, if he did go box and stuff, like, I don't think he would be able to ever fight in the UFC again and stuff. I mean, he's well, proved a lot, but, you know. I feel like you do more. This is you what know? you, sh Dana. I'm not trying to give you business advice. You're a businessman. This is what you fucking do. You tell him, Garden, <laughs> sign him with the fucking UFC. We'll cut a deal with who's who's promoting the fight for the Fury. Is it's not like Triller, is it or some shit? Whoever the fuck, whatever it was, cut a deal with them, dude. All right, negotiate. Be like, hey. Do you think Dana would ever want to fucking work with Triller though, dude? Like, if that's who is. Why not, bro? I'm just saying, like Dana's talks put you down on them yes. quite a bit and shit whatever dude. i don't even know if triller's promoting it. i'm just assuming because they yeah, yeah. on these weird fights too. well he's you know he's also said that you know that like ufc will never have fucking women fighters and shit you know before yeah. <laughs> pushing ronda rousey and everything you know what i mean so yeah i agree um so i'm just saying dana uh, cre uh push this pathway for Nganu to fight fury within the ufc still you know get him that next contract cut him off a couple mils off that dude and show these fighters that look dude i'm not a fucking complete asshole like all right, the UFC pays you what we can pay you for whatever reason. We got debt, you know. They bought the UFC like super high from Zufra or whatever those brothers. I yeah, don't know. but it's just like like most people complain about like like uh, percentages, uh -huh. percentages of how much the the company is making and how much the fighters are getting and stuff. And most other sport organizations and shit. So like, you know, NFL, NBA, and everything. You know, it's like much closer to like a fifty percent towards the players and stuff mm -hmm. and the ufc it's much lower you know what mm -hmm. i mean so it's just like but that's how the ufc is growing so quickly and stuff you know what i mean how they can Let's... reach so many new countries and uh -huh. put on all these fucking amazing sorry we have 
this huge dog and oh she's wet bro it, um drooling everywhere <laughs> drooling everywhere baby girl and she's Chill. just like pushing the table of Tasty, course you feel like a wet mop dude <laughs> Straight out like of here. my hair was wet out of here <laughs> Um, but look at dude, I know the UFC, they're paying like a shitload of money because the owners that have it now, they paid, they bought the UFC for a shitload of money. And I'm not saying they can't cut the, these fighters off more. Uh, they probably could. I don't know their their financials. But uh, at least if they can create a business model to where, like, look, at you get to the top or you become someone known, you make a name for yourself, we can help you get money elsewhere, you know, in these, like, trailer fights and these other events that will help you. No, it would be amazing if they did. If, the they, if they were so... Get some of that if, yeah, money. if they were willing to co-promote and get stuff, you know what I mean? Get some of that boxing money, bro. But UFC has you can't never... You make money, UFC. You want that boxing money, bro. <laughs> you want that YouTube money. You, you know want that Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather money is what you you want and you want it on a regular basis with yeah. all your superstars and stuff you know what i mean you keep that reputation as the ufc dude yeah. as a dominant like sport mm -hmm. fighting mm -hmm. you're it's, it's a win-win in my opinion but I, obviously I, I mean i don't i only know what i know you know i don't know what else goes down goes down out there so we'll see dude but honestly i want to it's i would say go with the fight fury fight who's he gonna fight in the ufc right now dude you know like who's left for him steve again jones would be cool you jones. know that'd be jones. cool we don't even know what Jones is going to look like at this point. It's been yep. how, how many years, you know? No, he, he, uh, after he found out about, like, the contract disputes and everything, he was he called out Stipe. So I think yeah. that that would be, like, a really interesting matchup for sure. Because, uh, you know, like, you really got to see how John Jones does but with so the weight. Stipe, but let's say Stipe wins. And then what's left for Ghana? Stipe yeah. again? No, yeah. Like, uh, uh, do the fucking fury I mean, fight. Tied to Ivasa and stuff with that knockout, but... That was a good fight. He's been beating a lot and stuff, you know. And I don't think Tatui Vasa would even beat Stephen Miocic. I don't think so. You, you know what I mean? Like, bro. Miocic would... I'm a fan, though. I'm a fan of the Oh, man, yeah, bro. for sure, for sure. The shoeies, <laughs> shoeies are disgusting and shit, dude. I would never do it, but I respect the man for doing it. I'll, you know I'll, what I mean? I'll let you shoey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hear fights, bro. I'm going to let you shoey, and I'm going to be like, let me show you how we do in California and pass you this fucking joint right here, dog. <laughs> yeah, Southern California. I'll be like, you know what? what? I'll do the shoey if you... <laughs> If you do the fucking arm, um, god leg. damn, dude, it's right by my leg, dude. Yeah, god damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, before we had started this podcast, <coughs> excuse me, before we started this podcast, we've known each other for a long ass fucking time like, uh, 10 plus years. How long? Pretty long, dude. I think around high school time, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, like, how long? year wise and stuff like 13 14 15 well i'm 31 so a long freaking time it's been at least 10 years <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah at least 10 plus year and uh like i had never had a feel that he was anyway interested in politics or anything <laughs> but he came and we were talking about something super interesting about what he is into right now and stuff so well, the politics thing, it's not that I'm so much interested in the politics thing, dude. It's mostly, I just... Like, I just didn't know how to segue into what you were, <laughs> we were talking about, shit. So you can just go ahead and start the way that you started when we talked about it and shit, dude. I mean, like, dude, I just... L lately in my adulthood, I've had this, like... Uh, just that after, like just wanting to just, like, make just better myself and people around me, you know? It's all about community building. It's like, it's all about building, bro. building the bridges and shit, dude. I don't in my have opinion, any, that's what life is about. I don't have any skills, bro. I don't give a fuck about politics, but I know they're doing it wrong, dude. Someone yeah, out there's sure. doing it wrong, and there's definitely no very antiquated system. Very antiquated system. Yeah, and there's no representation for people like me, dude. And so it's like my idea to get into politics was never to get into politics. Uh, originally, like I like I had been started off with this goal where I was like, I kind of want to build a community, you know, like a community of like-minded individuals, you know, who just smoke weed, have a good time, and just like, just like it's a mental challenge. One would say like a cult, you know. One would say <laughs> like a cult. Right, but not really, dude. It's like I'm not trying to take your money. I'm not trying to fuck your bitch on that. It's like all I want to do is smoke weed with people that are interesting and cool, you know, and just build from that community, you know, and maybe separate from society and be like, fuck this regular work shit. Let's do our own thing. But anyways, so I started thinking bigger. I was like, all right, so that's I gonna go out. It is gonna mic go check, out. Mic check. Mic check. One, two, three. <laughs> um, I just was like, you know, I want to build this community. And then I was like, man, it's cool. I'll, I'll make a cool space for, like, me and my people, you know. But I was, like, thinking, like, what if I could make a safe space for, like, more than just my people, you know. And I was like, I got to be president. I got to just be president, bro. <laughs> so, anyways, this just baby steps, bro. Use this whole... <laughs> Gain, like, you know, some help from politicians and then eventually <laughs> fuck that politician over in, like, the most political fucking... Oh, my God, ever, bro. <laughs> Like, he came up and he was just like, 
Yeah, so I want to start a cult. <laughs> <laughs> I've been pushing this, bro. <laughs> if um, y'all want to join my community, let me know, dude. Really <laughs> shit like that. Um, and that also file. segues in what I'm trying to do and stuff, which is also build the strongest fucking crypto weed community possible and stuff in the fucking world, in existence, in all of Exandria and everything. Yes. You know what I mean? Like. Hey, dude, great minds think alike, homie. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. So we're, we're all about trying to build that, those communities and stuff. And, and I think at this point of our life, that's what we realize a huge ch chunk of life is. Like, for sure, travel and meeting people and um, seeing how everyone else lives. And, um, you know, just trying to better yourself through whatever lens you can and stuff, you know, like every day. If, if you know, like you're not running, you're walking, if you're not walking, you're crawling, as long as you're inching forward every day and shit, dude, it's all good, you know? Um, yeah. I just don't want to work like a regular person. I feel like life is fucking lame, dude. Like, and I just don't want to be a part of it, dude. And I think most people will agree. So if I can become president, dude, who knows? Maybe I can make things right, you know? Yeah. The little brother Arnold in Laos right now and shit, like, uh, has fallen in love with Laos and the whole lifestyle. It's just so much slower. I don't think it's all life is like that and shit, but, like, definitely life in fast Southern California is in a lot of parts of America, for sure. It's just, um, you know, like, everyone is stuck in a nine to five and shit and you know like being forced to settle you know the salary is what they pay you to forget your dreams you know what i mean yeah we're gonna do away with salaries at my spot we're just gonna have like a collective earning thing <laughs> so he just wants to remake communism on some beautiful island you know what i mean yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be legit though yeah. No, we're gonna be pretty. I'm gonna keep it democratic. It's like I'm not gonna be the only one in charge. I'm not even gonna be in charge. We'll do the whole vote thing. It's like I'll help create the foundation. I, I just love that this is so real and this is so <laughs> tangible. I I wanted to dig into the mind of like what, like so we were, like I was asking you. Um, Some dance and shit, homie. What you know? What what is inspiring you to want to do this and stuff? And you were saying it's like a, a mental challenge as well oh, as. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to see if I could do it, to be honest, like, you know. But then I also thought it, it could... Do, uh, did it go out again? It's just me, dude. I'm just lagging it. Yeah, you have a lighter, too. I do. Can't, <laughs> I, use, you can't use the black one on... Like, no, as, as soon as I... <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I pass it to him, he's gonna fucking pocket it and shit, dude. I'm gonna lose the lighter and stuff. This is my lighter, actually, sir. I understand. Oh, I'm just saying, oh, as, long, as soon as I pass lighter. mine, right, it's gonna be gone. Well, dude, that's just how it goes. You just, I'm gonna leave my lighter. You're not even gonna leave your lighter. <laughs> you're gonna leave with both lighters, and I'm gonna be lighterless. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For one hour <laughs> but yeah, so like, um, I would think it would have something to do with vanity, and he was saying that. It froze. What? Dude, that's a good, um, if I 